hey, um, right, we are going to continue Undertale. And let's -a go. One day, they all disappeared without a trace. And the top of the game is spazzing out and now it says Flowey Tail. I think we shall click continue. Ooh. I'm in the void. I can't access my items. Ooh, a sparkle. <sighs> Howdy! It's me! Flowey! Flowey the flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. Now... With your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Mmm, I can feel them wriggling. Aw, oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Yeah, I spared the king. Flowey killed him. Before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend, Flowey, has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. So you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Oh, game started. Called for help. Whoops, I'm gonna have to let this die because unfortunately I need to send a message. <laughs>
Oopsies. That was my bad. I had to send a message to somebody. <laughs> I mean... I'm probably going to die anyway at some point on this bit. I'm not the uh, best. Um... So now I need to turn the game back on because it closed when I died. What a shock. I mean, yes, at least it's not sand. Hee hee hee. Did you really think I was going to be satisfied killing you only one time? Right, let's try and do this, shall we? You called for help. There we go. <laughs> I died. <laughs> this is all just a bad dream. And you're never waking up. Uh, yeah, this boss fight is tricky. Um, and as a result, um, you do have to sort of um pathetic now you're really going to die he, yeah he saved scums basically
Yeah, no, this level when you don't know it's coming is like, what the hell am I looking at? The other souls believe in me, guys. Flowers' defense has dropped to zero. No, no! This can't be happening! You, you... You idiot. Did you really think you could defeat me? I am the god of this world. And you? You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help. I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mummy, Daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you. You called for help. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is going to get to see you die. What? How'd you... Well, I'll just... What? Where are my powers? The souls? What are they doing? No! No! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! Stop!
what are you doing? Do you really think I've learned from this? No. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. Not sure how because he doesn't have legs, but I mean, fair. I may have needed to go backwards, oops. Ring, ring. Hey, is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best, anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, if we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognise this number. Attention, human. I, the great Papyrus, am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Except, instead of fighting, we just water flowers. So that set us a slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Alphys with her research. She's going to find a way to get us out of here. Undyne is helping her too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion-inducing. But I think Alphys likes having her around. Uh-oh. Hey, what are you up to, punk? Yeah. Please don't nuggie the phone. Hey, who's in charge here? me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard is totally disbanded. There's uh, only one member now. But he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't nuggie the skeleton. Anyways, now I'm working as Alpha's lab assistant. We're going to find a way out of this dumb once and for all. Oh, yeah, and I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Did you know I can bench press seven ch children? Awesome, right? Hey! I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault, he... Uh, 
darn it. I miss the big guy. Come on, Undyne, snap out of it. Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Alphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can get through it. I'm here supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey, wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there, so wherever you are, you have to try and be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the Queen. Hey, wait a second. Toriel, Toriel, do you wanna... Heh, <laughs> she says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to... We wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. We have the mercy to spare you from her. But call back any time, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So, hate to cut this short, but... Be seeing you, okay, buddy? Bye-bye for now. See you, punk. Click. Why? Why did you let me go? You don't realise that being nice makes you get hurt. Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you'd just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So, I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and... Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alphys? Seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows, maybe she's got the key to your happiness? See you soon. And now... We click continue. And... Oh yeah, Flowey is a wonderfully written character. Like, that's something I cannot deny in any way. <laughs> they really did a good job. Um, is this the way out or is this the way to the coffins? Uh, we'll find out in a minute, I suppose. Yep, this is the coffin room. My bad. Run, little person, run! I mean, once you know Flowey's backstory and such, you might feel differently about him to a point. Like all the characters in this game, he's very interesting. Let's go visit Dr. Alphys. In fact, uh... Oh, nobody picked up. But they have fun commentary, guys. <laughs> It's awfully quiet though, isn't it? It's like Ah, here we go, here's some music. <laughs> oh, a phone call. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk!
Oh, thank goodness, I've got items. That within itself is sort of reassuring. Um, <laughs> uh, down here to go see the... Nope, not down here. This way? To go see the fairy lady? No. There must be a lift over this way. Look at that pair of bros. Uh, left floor one, please. Tra la la, care for a ride? Boat, please. Let's go to Snowden. Then we're off. Boat's going nice and chill today. Pet, pet, pet. The next stretch is infinitely into the cosmos. Don't worry about it. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Oh, isn't this place so cute? It's been ages since we're back here. Um, so, I have a favour to ask you. Uh, I, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Elphis. Uh, why don't I do it myself? Um, well... <laughs> that's the best expression ever. <laughs> it's, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll t tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So, you go. I got a letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Cheers. Looks like we need to go back to Hotland now. <laughs> it's a doggo. Tra la la, the piano plays the tinkling song. Hmm, tinkling. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Uh. I'm going to put some of my items in the box for now. There. As I don't really want to lose them. Knock knock. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Slide! You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No, no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it, it should kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I, I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I, I, I had no idea you were brought that way. It's surprising too, after all the gross stuff I did. I, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this? And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Y yeah, let's go on a date. Dating start. Uh, uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. H how do I look? 
my friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating? Stop. Hey, hey, hey wait. Actually, uh, we, we can't start the date yet. Dating? Stop. Um, I gotta give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, d don't worry. I'm prepared. I I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. F f first, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But I also brought some waterproof screen for your scales. Your, um, scales. Uh, well, uh, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, um, hey, uh, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Uh, do you like anime? Yes. <laughs> hey, me too! Hey, let's uh, go somewhere. Hi, so sorry, Undertale. <laughs> but where's a good go place to go on our date? Um, I got it! Let's go to the garbage dump! Ah, uh, the place where trash like me belongs. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really, um... Oh no. That's her over there. I c can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh... Well... Oh no, here she comes! Hey, there you are. I, uh, realised if you deliver that thing. It might be a bad idea. So, I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Yeah! Have you at least seen her? Uh, yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here? Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. But, well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I j just figured, y you know, it'd be f fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you? To, to make you feel better? Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. Oh, I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I um, really want to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. N not that you aren't um, cool, but, but Undyne... She's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The the truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared of what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. How can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I did don't have the confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. R roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Uh, okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I will. Oh, right, obviously. <laughs> Hi Undyne, how are you doing today? I'm fine. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to um, talk to you about something. <laughs> then she kisses you. No. What is it, Alphys? Um, you see, I, I, 
I I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You, you see, I I oh forget it, Undyne. I I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and so strong and, and nice. And you always listen to me when I talk about n nerdy stuff. You, you always do, do your best to m make me feel special. L like telling me you'll you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne. I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne. Hold me. What did you just say? Uh, Undyne. I, I, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were... I mean, actually, we're only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean... I mean... Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like scientifically important, but really I just use it to make ice cream. And those human history books we keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those, those are just uh, anime. They aren't real. And the time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. Alphys. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. Do. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Alphys, I I think you need to, I guess. But you got to realise, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Undyne, you... You really gonna train me? Your... Sure. What? Me? Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaking! It's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undyne. I'll do my best. Oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons? Those comics? Those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords, magic princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta catch up with them. Later. Anime is love, anime is life. Everyone knows the trash dump is clearly the best place to go on a date. <laughs> a honk of despair. Ring. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend, who trusts me? This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there, to her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye.
carried on a journey. That is the wrong way. Ha ha. Uh, true, this section's pretty damn good. I mean, I love this whole game. Although my voices haven't been very consistent because I have the memory of a goldfish and the vocal capacity of one too, to be fair. Though, to be fair, I did stream the majority of the game in one sitting, so... Sparklies. I like sparklies. Watch me go all this way and find out I can't actually get past. Bah! Today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah! There's no art in that action, the mindless schluck. It's just timing-based drivel. Give me something that challenges the deepest research reaches of my mind. You, you're young. You've still got hope. Yeah. Here, try solving this block pushing puzzle. I mean, what? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Bah, forget it. This generation is really hopeless. Bah. Fine. Don't care about your rock, uh, your, your block anyway. Nice. Almost back in Hotland. Alphys, we come to talk. And clearly one of the best points in the game was when I wasted all of my money on hot dogs being put on my head. <laughs> True. He was a grump. Do 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 do. May I raid your fridge for more food? No. Well, that's depressing. Oh, a letter! It's a note from Alphys. Read it. Well, I wouldn't know what it says if I don't read it. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. It's not a bathroom after all, it's a lift! What is this madness? Warning! Warning! Elevator losing power. M tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. Oh my god, I died! I said I didn't. Ooh, spooky. And it shut after me. <laughs> I am trapped. I mean, yes. <gasps> Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. 
Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only we could make a monster's soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power Determination. I don't have enough money. Power room. There's a note on the ground. You can't make all of it out. Elevator, lost power, enter the centre door. That's all you could read. That's a fake plant. Does that mean the other one's fake and it might have money in it? Oh, no money. I know, right? Like, the music in this game is just beautiful and it really adds to the atmosphere. Entry number six. As Gore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Are they all sticky? They are indeed all sticky. I can turn on the sinks! You turned on the sink. That's not water! That's a face! Something drew near. So, you take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. But nobody came. Memory head. Join. Then hold us. Then hold still, become one of us. Ah, oh, bugger. I think I got a bit killed up there. I misjudged. Stay determined. Let's go and turn that tap on. Use my cell phone. Join. But nobody came. Suppose try and refuse. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. <laughs> I win! I don't get any money. But I do get a red key. Drain, dropped it, 
that's all you could read. Key! Mouse, go away. <laughs> And I shall go use this convenient save point to heal myself. <laughs> because I am clumsy. <laughs> Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. <laughs> really though? That pun? Come on! I mean, I, I shouldn't know better by now than let you have any chance to make a pun. <laughs> One of the bodies opened its eyes. It's an empty dog food bowl. Seems like a comfortable bed. Lie on it. Yes, please! No touchy. Oh, okay. God damn it! <laughs> Squidge, I love you. <laughs> it's a bed. It's a vape pad. Ooh, what's it say? Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all waking... They're all walking even and <laughs> talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. The clock is broken. <laughs> uh, let's see. Spooky room or hallway? Uh, let's go spooky room. Let's not go spooky room because it leads to more paths. It's a me! Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster can absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? It's a me! Entry number ten. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Oh, hello. Uh, gonna pray it remembers its conscience I don't speak gobbledygook oh no he's being attacked by butterflies I'm gonna hum ah okay now I'm being attacked by the butterflies Uh, mystify? You did something mysterious. It recognises it as more to learn from the world. Uh, please no. Uh, pick on? You pick on Reaper Bird. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit. Courage. Reaper bird seems placated. I earned nothing. Cold. That's all you could read. Well, I need to find somewhere cold, apparently.
this way first, because there aren't any monitors. This looks cold. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. It's a switch. Yes. Oh no, a ball. Oh no, it's not a ball, it's a dog. Hi. It's the amalgamate. You call the amalgamate. It bounds towards you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. It's hovering close, looking for affection. Pet! It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Zzz. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Hey, uh. it's striking the wall with its claws. Play. I throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The amalgamate brings it back to you. Proudly? You repeat this process a few times. Now amalgamate is very tired. It means it's dripping amorphous body on you. Amalgamate is twitching affectionately. Uh, ignore. You try looking away, but it seems to appear everywhere you look. Whoops, it got of me. Maybe it wanted more pets. After all, it is a big melty pupper. If at first we'll play. Oh, it's not excited enough. So I do have to do petting first. Oh wait, no, I have to beckon it first. My bad. My brain is gone. It smells like a bunch of dogs. Now I pet it. And we play. I'm going to eat because I don't want to risk it. It starts to generate a stage one happiness thrust. Its convulsions intensify. Pet. You pet decisively. The amalgamate seems satisfied by all this. Endogeny is now <laughs> contented. I win. Go 
heal again because I do seem to be taking a lot of damage. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Entry number 16. No, 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 no! A key! It's an empty bathtub. Smells like sweet lemons. Lemon bread. Uh, I'm gonna hum. Unhug? I ran straight into that like an idiot. We'll go grab the key and do that bit again. Hug. Then call. God dang it. I know, right? Like, being a mimic of a save point is like both beautiful and the biggest troll in the world. You know what, we'll get that other key after we beat this bit. <laughs> Actually no, we'll do it now because it's on the way, bugger it. It's a little bit of a slow sequence but it's not the worst thing in the world. There we go. God dang it! I know, like it. Um, definitely one of those points where you're like, I don't know if I can trust this anymore. Oh no! And then you're just like, uh. Just go try and get this bit. Oh. 
Yeah, no, this game was an absolute masterpiece for what it was. God dang it. Cry. No. I swear you can't move fast enough for some of those. You gotta love it when you die more to generic enemies than you do bosses. Yeah, like seriously, how am I meant to, to get there fast enough for that? <laughs> Stupid mouse, get out of my way. At least now I know what the uh, things I need to do are. There we go. Clearly, I am not the best at dodging. Let's go grab this key and then we'll go save. Because then I'll be full health again. Key! But I do feel like, I swear, you don't move fast enough for some stuff. I mean, it's probably my imagination. Let's find out what's through this door. Ooh, a library. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. There are a bunch of VHSs. Seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. They seem to be alphabetized, save for a few stray sticky ones. There's a note, you can't make it all that. Under sheets. Oh yeah, it is probably intentional that some of them you can't, like, dodge all of it. They seem to be labelled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Take one. Psst! Gory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that video camera? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Shh. I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest. What is my favourite vegetable? Hmm. Carrots, right? No, no, no. My favourite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no. Not yet. Hee <laughs> hee 
Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a... Marmaranian. Ho, ho, ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you you could be a famous momedian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Tape two. Okay, Larry, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah, hee hee hee. Oh, wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not going to do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. Haha. <laughs> but I'm Larry. Howdy, Larry. Smile for the camera. <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. Hee hee hee. What? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mum really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. I... I don't like this idea, Larry. What? What? No, no, I'm not... Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Larry. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Larry, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Larry, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Larry, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I... No, I said, I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We should have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Well, that doesn't seem ominous at all. DT extraction machine. Status inactive. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Fridge. Fridge. Ooh, it's got samples in it. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. It's empty, but it's jiggling. Hey, uh. Number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Samples. Fridge. Another fridge! You told a bad pun about the snow. Her expression starts to shift. Haha, <laughs> I remember. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? Snowy. It's so cold. You said something like, you look horrible. Why are you even alive? Oh, that's just mean. What? You didn't say that? Snowy. But it's not very funny. Oops. I meant to make a joke, not laugh. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. Ha ha, thank you. You told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. 
Yeah, no, the music in this bit does make it seem really like... Okay. Curtain. Well, I've got the green key. And I've got the blue key at the minute. And the yellow key's in a bed. So I just need to find the place the keys go. I do love though how like most of the game is all this sort of vibrant thing and then you get to this bit and hey um like the art style really lends to what's going on is there a thing to put a key in over here yes one more key to put in which I'm not sure where it is, but I will find because that is what I do. Uh, might be over this way. Yeah, it really is a moment of family friendly turn horror. Because you know that as you're playing it, like oh my gosh this is just so like upbeat and I love it and then all of a sudden it just goes whoa and you're just like I don't like where this is going oh no scared <laughs> now I can go save and then I can open the big door because I've done all the keys also I'm jealous of these beds they've stayed nice this long like I want a bed that lasts that long. Uh, save again. Oh yeah, colour and sound people overlook so much when it comes to doing design work. The slightest change in pitch and, and like a shift or two down the colour scheme and you can create a totally different vibe. There are buttons there, but I'm not pressing them. Yeah, when the music stops, you do think, oh god, what's happening? Seems to be turned off. It seems like the power, this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Yes. Oh no, more of them. Hey, stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway, the power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This probably was just a big inconvenience for you. But, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so the souls would last after death, but the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take on those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now? Now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. 
it's going to be hard being honest believing in myself but I'm sure there'll be times where I'll struggle and I'm sure there'll be times where I screw up again but knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own thank you come on guys it's time for everyone to go home Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the centre of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the Queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Entry number 18. The flower's gone. Ba -ba -boom. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Larry, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Larry, see you soon. Ominous much? No, this isn't a blind playthrough. I've beat this game before. Um, I very much love Undertale and and such, but I'm not just I'm just not the greatest player because I have um, a few cognitive issues, so um, my signals don't come to my hands very well and stuff, and. Although I seem to be better when I play it on a keyboard, um, it causes a lot of pain in my hands, so I have to settle for controller nowadays. But I love the game too much not to enjoy it, sort of thing. No save point. Spooky. Yeah, I was sure they'd still be gone. Hallways. I mean, look how beautiful all this is, even though it's so minimalistic. Like... I love it and I love what you can do with pixels like simple pixel art and old style graphics can pull off such a beautiful amount of sort of like I can't explain it like they're just wonderful uh, what's down here ah yes <laughs> I mean, this game is utterly beautiful in its own way, um, beyond just the sort of levels of everything. Like, It all comes together in such a good way that it makes me so happy. And, like, exactly, so much can be done with just simple techniques. believe oh I should get my items because I believe uh, need that and make sure I don't eat my snowman piece I believe when I go through here it's gonna trigger yeah this is the barrier this is what keeps us all trapped underground. Oh gosh, yeah, Toby Fox is amazing. Like, I'm so happy that he's not rushing either with his next work. 
and stuff because obviously fans can get very aggressive towards creators and make them burn out something awful. Um, but I'm glad he's handling it well. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I see. This is it then. Yes, because I believe I have done everything now. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. What a miserable creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone. But I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. And ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realised I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, y you're right. I am a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? Um, I mean, there might be some secrets here and there that I've never physically found and things like that, but I probably haven't actually not seen anything like I refuse to do a genocide run because I physically know I wouldn't be able to complete it um, and also I don't think I could be that mean <laughs> um, but like I am quite you know sigh no Asgore yeah Asgore human nobody fight each other Everybody's going to make friends, or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Nice to meet you too. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. H hey Nobody heard each other. Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel. Hello. Uh, haha, <laughs> hi. There's two of them. Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave and clone himself? Hey guys, what's up? That voice. Hello, I think we may know each other? Oh hey, I recognise your voice too. I am Toriel. Nice to meet you. My name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! This is the best day of my life! 
Hey, Papyrus. What does the skeleton tile his roof with? Mm, Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shin ghouls. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Asgore. It's going to be okay. There are, like, plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. And I was totally right about the fish thing. Just sometimes you've just got to, uh, just stop going after furry boss monsters and just get to know a really cute fish? It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god, just kiss already. <laughs> the audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No, he's right. Let's do it! Uh, well, uh, I guess if you want to, then? Don't hold anything back. Wait, not in front of the human. Uh, uh, right, so sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here a while. But looking at all the great friends you've made, I think, I think you'll be happy here. <laughs> hey, that reminds me, Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides uh, her, uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know to call everybody? Let's just say a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? Betrayal! You idiots. While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are going to be mine too! Hee hee hee! And you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. Hee <laughs> hee! Huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? This game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you just within your reach and then tear it away before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You, I'll keep you here no matter what. Even if it means killing you a hundred I don't know what that number is now. My brain stopped. I want to say a hundred thousand times. Rude. Ah, a million. What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, Cuban! You can win! Just do what I would do! Believe in you! Hey, Cuban, if you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry, we're with you all the way! Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him, but, but somehow, I know you can do it. Human, 
For the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. I got friendos, guys! Urgh. No! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You... You... I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. Ribbit, indeed. It's a small child. Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy. Larry, are you there? It's me, your best friend. As real dreamer, it's the end. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. You held on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. Yep, I must admit, like, he's got to have done the anagram thing on purpose. He's charging his shocker breaker. Through determination, the dream became true. Your HP was maxed out. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. I don't remember if using the pie here actually does anything. I mean, I can get infinite health anyway out of this. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. You ate the pie. All your progress, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. Then we can do everything all over again. Whoops. <laughs> I ran into that star. But it refused. Dream. Oh my god, I just unpredicted everything there.
You kept holding on. Damage reduced. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. I'm going to use an item this turn. And then you'll lose to me again. And again. And again. Galacta blazing. Because you want a happy ending. you love your friends oh bugger <laughs> that sword one seems to always get me because you never give up. Buggeration. do that one without getting touched what items have I got I've still got a couple of dreams oh, so now I dodge it Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that let you get this far, it's going to be your downfall. Now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. 
Form change. Activate. Asriel blocks the way. Struggle. You can't move your body. Hold, behold my true power. I know, right? It's edgy ass. <gasps> Squeeze me. There we go. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here in a world where no one remembers you. Still, you're hanging on. That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. The whole world is ending. Hurrahaha. <laughs> Still? Come on. Show me what good your determination is now. Bugger. I ran into one. <laughs> Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game is Im really impossible. But maybe with what little power you have, you can save something else. You reached out to Azriel's soul and called it out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Oh, this is where I could have used the pie. Within the depths of Azriel's soul, something was resonating. A lost soul appeared. You tap the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. All humans will die. Recipe. You ask the lost soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. You're our real enemy. You clashed against the lost soul with all of your might. She recognises your fighting spirit. Suddenly, memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. Something feels... No, I don't want to fight him, I want to save people. Lost souls appear. Uh, recipe. You ask the lost soul to cook something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. I must capture a human. Just give up. I did. Puzzle. You asked for their help with a puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. Then everyone will. Why even try? You'll never see him again. You told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to hate it, but the other lost soul seems to like it. Take a break. You ask the lost soul to take a break from fighting with you. It nods its head solemnly. Seems like it will. No, wait! You're my friend! I could never capture you! Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. I didn't mean to click that button. You tell the lost soul you prefer butterscotch instead of cinnamon. Somehow she faintly recalls hearing this before.
Oh no! No, 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 no! I refuse to accept that! <laughs> Where's my mouse? <laughs> I'm closing the game. I'm not eating my snowman. I don't care that it means that it's going to take me a little bit longer. I am not eating the snowman. <laughs> I know. I didn't mean to eat him. I refuse to do that. Just because it means he would actually get there still. It, I don't want him to get there in my tummy. At least I can skip through most of the dialogue. The hardest part will be just doing the Azrael bit again. But it does mean I'll technically have the pie left, which I think lets you auto get Toriel and Asgore back. <laughs> but I didn't mean to eat him. It was 100% an accident. <laughs> we'll skip through the dialogue. <laughs> but curse my own overexcitedness. <gasps> I do love like the work that went into all the facial expressions as well that go on like throughout dialogue and stuff. A tiny flower. Who's a big fat meanie? Almost back to where we're meant to be. I can't believe I did that though, like of all the amateur bloody mistakes to have made. Because I know that I need my snowman piece. I had to bloody accidentally eat him. All these good friendos. Hopefully though it wouldn't take it won't take me too long to get back to where I was. Though it does show mistakes happen and I'm good at making them. <laughs> I believe that definitely uh Right, how many items have I got? A few. 
We'll dream first. Oh god, I'm not very good at dodging this time. We'll hope this time. We'll eat food. My god. Oof. That was an ouch. I think we need to dream so that I've definitely got items. into that one. That one. Oh no! Ah! God damn it. I do not want to eat my snowman. I'm really sorry about this guys. I'm clearly messing up. But it's literally only this boss fight left, so it's like... <laughs> but god dang it that I keep accidentally eating the snowman. Right, my plan is I'm going to give this one more go, as in hope that I don't mess it up, um, and if I've not finished it in another, say, 10-12 minutes, I'll end the stream and we'll do this boss fight um, and go through a bunch of extra dialogue uh, next time. Because obviously we're going to have a stream anyway doing the extra dialogue um, no matter what so but I want to see if I can do this if only I didn't accidentally eat my snowman piece I'd have probably won by now <laughs> curse my accidental stupidity
I must admit though, um, I am tempted to, in the future, um, purchase myself more uh, Undertale related merch because it's just such a wonderful game and I like being able to support both creative types and obviously the creator themselves. I mean, I must like supporting them because I've got this game on about two or three different devices at least. And I'm debating getting it on more. Because <laughs> even on my bad days where I can't actually play it properly, I like watching it and listening to its soundtrack. So it's like looking at fan art as well so it's like it's definitely a, uh, a franchise that i'm very fond of I'm just going to have to be a bit more careful <laughs> during this fight to make sure I don't eat the snowman. Because, I mean, yeah, he's edible, but I don't want him to not get to see the world. And he won't see the world from inside my tummy. Like, even the biggest of magic is not going to make the poor little snowman piece. accidentally ran into a lot of those because I am a dirt. It really helps if I don't run directly into the last bit. to heal myself this time. Mm. 
I'm gonna need to dream. Eat a dream. Hope again. Spooky goat face. I am something special. And now we're on the other bit. Hopefully we'll uh, finish this then. I have no choice but to struggle. And I ran straight into the bullet because I'm an idiot. Though it does bring me back to full health, so... I can feel it every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. I don't think I am going to lose because I am determining it. Oh yeah, I dodged them all because I am cool. And now I can do the save bit. We'll go tutorial first. Or we'll pie. Give her a hug. That's two down already. Save and dine next. We're not enemies, we're friends. And we'll prove it with our awesome fighting spirit and she'll remember that we're all good. Let's get the brothers back. We'll tell a bad joke. Then we'll ask for help on a puzzle. Then we'll ask for cooking. Then we will ask the other one to take a break. Got our other buddies back. Then we'll save Alphys.
Let's nerd out together. You hate me, don't you? Encourage. You tell the lost soul that you'll continue to support her. Something about the way you said that is familiar to her. I've got to keep flying. You call the lost soul on the phone. She starts to swear. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. You feel your soul's friends resonating with an Azrael. Someone else. As your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul. Stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs saved. But who? Suddenly, you realise. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? You feel your friend's souls resonating with an Asriel. Save Asriel Dreamer. What, what did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no, I don't need anyone. Stop it, get away from me. Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart. Larry, do you know why I'm doing this? I, why I keep fighting to keep you around? I'm doing this because you're special, Larry. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one that's any fun to play with anymore. No, that's not just it. I... I... I'm doing this because I care about you, Larry. I care about you more than anybody else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So, please, stop doing this. And just let me win. Stop it. Stop it now. Larry. I'm so alone, Larry. I'm so afraid, Larry. Larry, I... I... I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Larry? I know. You're not actually Larry, are you? Larry's been gone for a long time. Um, what... What is your name? Frisk. That's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monsters as well. They all care about each other so much, and they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. Uh -huh. 
Frisk, I, I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. Forgive. What? what? Frisk, come on. You're, you're going to make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. Within everyone's power, with everyone's determination, it's time for monsters to finally go free. barrier has been broken. The barrier was destroyed. Frisk, I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Comfort him. He didn't mean to be bad. Without a soul, he can't feel. And he's been alone for so long. Ha, <sighs> ha. I don't want to le let go. Frisk, you're, you're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of mum and dad for me, okay? Frisk, this is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, you're awake. Thank goodness. We were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I was just... I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears! Now, now. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk, why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what I am not certain, Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk. You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish, we will all wait for you here. And with that, I am going to save the game. And next time, we will um, walk through the underground, say our goodbyes, and um, watch the credits. Um, it was great seeing you all. Um, thanks for watching. This was Miss Blackthorn slash Larry. And I hope you have a good evening. Bye guys.